So in this video is for those aspirants who are going to write NEET in 2022 or 2023. If you go to neetprep.com, you will see a different page. You will see a page which will give you your current week's progress, how many questions you have practiced. It is showing one out of 200 for me. It will show what has been your progress in this week, which is week one and uh, previous four weeks, whether you have set target or not, and when is your next test series test, okay? So let me explain to you what we are trying to do. First of all, what we are trying to say to you is, if you're not on leaderboard, doesn't matter, but your real competition is with yourself, your own fears, your own doubts, whether you can do it or not, whether you think you are capable or not. And that confidence is built if you perform better than last week. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past. If you are on last week and this week, if your performance this week is better than last week, if your graph is going up between last week and this week, you will continuously improve. And that is what we have tried to bring in the new tracker which is there, right? So how will the new tracker help you? It will push you to do better this week compared to last week. You will be able to see your performance, whether the graph is going up or it is stagnant or whether, whether it is going down. If it is stagnant or going down, you have reasons to worry and you have to fix that problem. And we will keep you that thing up front and center. You can never miss the fact that, am I improving? Am I putting more effort or am I stagnant? And second thing is, it will provide tra tra tracking of only question practice and target setting because ultimately, as I've said again and again, need selection will happen by question practice, right? If you don't practice questions, you're not going to get selected in need. And both these things are available in your full course correct in your single subject course in your target batch which is for 2022 aspirants and in your catalyst batch which is for 2023 aspirants correct if you're going to set targets if you're going to finish your theory then practice questions you're doing good and you would be now able to see whether you were doing better last week or better, whether you are doing uh, better this week. I all want to tell you it is very, very important that compared to last week, your performance this week should be better. And this you will be able to track very easily here, right? Hopefully you've understood this thing. If you have not set a target, if you click on this, it will take you to setting target, right? If you uh, go on the test series, and if you click on this, it will take you to the test series page. Correct? This is the next test that is, uh, that is coming up. And seventh, and this is the syllabus for the test. So all these things you will be able to do it here. We will be putting a lot more things on this dashboard so that you remain focused on your question practice, maintaining right balance between physics, chemistry, and biology, and continuously trying to figure out ways of improving compared to last week because your real competition is, is with yourself. So two, two things which I want to emphasize again. One, your competition, your real competition is always with yourself. It is not with anyone, any video you saw on YouTube or with your friends or your neighbor. It is always with yourself. Second thing, you can crack neat only by question practice. So, this is why this new feature has come. It will make you focus on whether you are doing better this week compared to last week and whether you are practicing enough questions or not. Tell me in the comment section whether you like this feature or not and promise that you are going to do better this week compared to what you did last week. If you have any other questions, ask me in the comment section and I will answer. Best of luck to all of you. Keep fighting, keep working hard and keep practicing questions.